and welcome to the introduction of My Scheduler. In this presentation, we will learn how to navigate the schedule of classes, add breaks and courses to My Scheduler, generate multiple schedules, and import the courses to our shopping cart to enroll. Please note, if you already know what courses you need, proceed to view the video for My Scheduler. If you're looking to find courses, please visit the video for how to navigate the schedule of classes first, then come back to this video. From the home page, we want to click on the student's link. If searching for classes, click Schedule of Classes. If not, scroll down and click My CSU Stand logo. Once you have entered your own Warrior student username and password, you will then come to the student portal. Again, the Student Center is the central location of everything important you need to know as a student here at CSU Stanislaus. Once in the Student Center, Click on the My Scheduler link. Make sure your pop-up blocker is unblocked so that the window to the My Scheduler will be able to open. Once you see the instructions, click the green rectangle that says Click Here to open the Schedule Planner in a pop-up window. Select the box beside the choice Main Campus. This campus includes the Stockton location and the Turlock Main Campus. And then click Save and Continue. Click the drop-down menu to select the term you wish to add courses for. For this example, we will be choosing Spring 2014. Once the My Scheduler opens, you see that there are a lot of choices to customize your search. Let's start at the top. Course status allows you to choose from the selections Open Classes Only, Open and Full, and Open and Full with a waitlist option. The Academic Group section allows you to search for courses that are in a specific college. The Instruction Mode allows you to search for courses online, in person, in a television broadcast, and so on. The Term is when you are taking the course, and the Campus is the location of where the course will be held. The Courses section allows us to add all the courses we want for that term or semester. If we click the button Add Course, we get a dialog box that asks us to enter the subject and course we are looking for. If we select the subject from the drop-down menu, you'll see a number next to the department. That number means that there are that many courses available for that specific section. In this example, we see that accounting has a 14 next to it in parentheses. That means that there are 14 available courses. For this purpose, we are going to choose Accounting 2130 Managerial Accounting with five sections open. Last, let's click Add Course. Now, let's add a break. The Breaks section allows us to add any breaks that we may need during the day, such as lunch, practice if you play a sport, or no class between the hour of 8 and 9 a.m. Click the Add Break button. The second to last section is the box labeled Current Schedule 2014 Spring. This box allows us to see the courses that we are currently enrolled in, section, if it's a lecture or lab, the day, and time of course. Since we have already added the courses we want and the breaks we need, let's generate some schedules. Click on the button Generate Schedules. We see that there are three different schedules that include the courses and breaks we've asked for. We do have the option to compare up to four different schedules at a time by checking these boxes to the left of the courses listed. Once we click Compare, we see the four different schedules, including the courses we've selected and the breaks requested. Now it's up to you to decide which schedule works best. Once you've picked the perfect schedule, click the link below the chosen schedule. In this example, let's choose Open Schedule number 1. When the schedule appears, we see all courses we are currently enrolled in and the ones we're trying to add. We also see the week of displaying courses in the actual schedule by specific time breakdown. Once we are satisfied with the chosen schedule, let's click the button up at the top that's labeled Send Schedule to Shopping Cart. Click OK to continue if you are satisfied with the chosen schedule. Directions on what to do next will show you that we need to import the courses to our cart and finish enrolling. 